the products that I don't like really quick. I'm sorry, but I don't know what this is. I, I don't know how to use this. It's a hard candy, sheer envy, color correct, finishing powder. Like, I understand what it said, like, what it is, what it means, but I wish we could use it. But I, I don't know how to use it. I don't know how it works. I don't use color correcting powders. I hardly use powder because I have dry skin. It's just. Yeah. Um, I think this is cruelty free. I'm not sure. I can't see because I just see flash little balls of light. <laughs> I can't see right now. Okay. Um, this is how it looks like. It's just colorful, pastelly. It has like a shimmery. Yeah, it has shimmery. It's really not pigmented. That's what I don't like. Like you can really see. Like when I put it on my skin, I can't see anything. It's like really, really light. Like, and I don't think it's gonna work on me and I'm really really fair. Imagine other people like you no know, like this is not good at all. I wouldn't recommend this. This is one out of five stars. No negative one. <laughs> I mean cause you there's no use you can't use it. Doesn't matter how much you put on, it doesn't help supposedly it's meant to color correct I don't know I think your under eyes your uneven skin tone but you can't even see how is it gonna color correct some, something that it's not even visible you get you get me like I don't see the point of it they should really discontinue this product because it doesn't work at all trust me um it's nice it looks nice the budget packaging is nice i love that it has a heart the, the colors um it doesn't have a smell oh, actually it has a little bit of a smell like a little bit chemically but then it smells nice it smells a little chem yeah like chemicals a little bit i i just don't like this at all like i really don't recommend it. I'm not using it anymore. Um, the other thing I didn't like is Ioni Cosmetics Everlasting Lash Glue. Because this, look, it smells funky like chemicals. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It smells bad. <laughs> I mean, so I really don't care about the smell as long as it works, but this you have to apply a lot because it's dry. Even in the first time I used it, it was like dry. It didn't have a lot of product. It doesn't. You have to really go like this and like to get like just a little bit of lash glue. You see, I've used it like three times, five times, but even the first time it was like that. It's dry. It, does have a lot of product in here it's, but I do like the wand and the packaging it's really nice but who cares right if the packaging is great if the product itself doesn't work does it make sense it's not worth your money or your time like, just buy this one it's more expensive this is like a dollar this one like five dollars but look at the difference this one works this one doesn't so sometimes it's better to buy the more expensive thing than the cheapest thing you know but for emer emergencies I think you should buy it like put it in your bag or in your car if you don't have a lot of money to buy like three four of these for backup because it's like five and it's, you're gonna waste like twenty dollars to buy like four or five of these to put one in your vanity, in your car, in your bag, an extra one. Okay, my camera technical difficulty. <laughs> the freaking camera stopped. Okay, so I forgot. Um, <laughs> oops. Okay, let's see. 
that's embarrassing. <laughs> Somebody is listening to me right now. And I... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, for backup, this is good for backup. If for one dollar, like buy like five backups to put it everywhere. Then yeah, you should buy it. Or if you're a beginner, then yeah, buy it. Try it. But still, like recommend these than these but it's better than nothing because I run out of lash glue really quickly like that like I rather have five of these and no lash glue at all because it does where you just need a lot of thought of you have to apply a lot and a lot and it gets annoying like you know just want to apply lash glue and that's it but, I mean yeah to each their own just look, try it and but still don't rely on this one rely on this one and have this for backup or you can't give it away give give these away for people if you can afford it by gifts just buy this one instead of this one you no know, because of your if you don't have money or not so yeah <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, one one out of five stars I give it. Okay. Mm. The other one, I don't, the other thing I don't like. This is the third thing. This is the Lorella Cosmetics Iconic Eyeshadow Palette. It's a neutral brown palette with shimmers. It does have a mirror. These are the shades. They're really pretty. I like the size of it. Everything is nice, but even the packaging, the the formula is not that great. It's good. It's really not that pigmented. It's cheap, little. Like whenever I packed it on, you couldn't still see certain shades like this one. Um, and these. I've used like all the shades from one eye look and it just looks like I used one and shimmer the, this all and I used this shimmers oh especially this one this one's so horrible you can't really see you can see it here but when I would when I would apply it on my problem you can't you really couldn't see anything and I've tried different brushes and it still didn't appear on my skin and I'm very white like how can you not see you know so that's how you know it's not a good product cause it doesn't work you can't see um so this one's good for beginners for sure because if, if you don't know how to blend yet or use eyeshadow all that much then this one works because you can practice with this but if you've been using makeup for a while then no don't try this don't use it to wear makeup for use it to for your makeup clients because yeah this trash i'm sorry but if <laughs> yeah it's true it's a waste of time and money buying this i mean and i saw on instagram like oh those popular youtubers that have been reposted in their page and i'm like how like if the product is not even that good but i don't know i don't know maybe they have other better products and this one was a miss and they tried another one i don't know but i've only tried one thing on their brand so uh they probably have better things so i can't say their brand sucks or their quality of their stuff sucks, sucks. only this one um yeah i don't th i'm gonna use this it's so nice, I guess. Maybe for this, the gold shape. Um, I rated one out of five. Hmm, what else? I don't know if it's cruelty free. I don't know. I can think. Yeah, I can't see. Um, what else? Mm. It 
doesn't have the metal fall out. It it has like any other eyeshadow. But actually, I don't remember, but I've used it before. And the which video? The brown and gold makeup tutorial. That video I've used it, so you can go look at it. Cause I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. This is a old neon green water activated eyeliner. I think that's what it's called. And that's the cap, so it looks bad. It looks really bad, but I think because it's not closed, that's why it shouldn't be like this. Uh, I, I don't like this. This is not from a known brand. This is from an indie, small indie Instagram brand. So uh, I don't know if I should mention it because I don't think she's even selling it, this brand. I don't know if their page is still available. Because this was like a few years ago or two that I've won in a giveaway, I forgot. But you just add water. I just use water bottle water. I put it here and then I swirl it around and I just apply eyeliner with this. I don't like it because it's more watery and not pigmented when I activate it and I use it. It's just not like regular eyeliner. It's hard to use and it's not pigmented. Also, the smell of this smells fishy. Like, <laughs> it smells really bad. I don't know why it smells like fish. Like, why? It's unnecessary. It's just like. Okay, right now, it doesn't smell like anything because it's dry, but when I put water, I don't know if it's the type of eyeliner or it's a brand or, I don't know, it smells funky, let's be honest. <laughs> I don't recommend this. Um, maybe if I tried other brands, I might like and... Or maybe it's because I don't know how to use it correctly. That's why, because I, I really don't use these. I don't know. I should try it for my bigger brand, not an indie brand, to see like if I really like it or not. But this I don't like. I don't recommend. This one's from Bougie Cosmetics on Instagram. There's a lot of Bougie Cosmetics brands on Instagram. <laughs> not throwing any shade i'm just saying like don't get confused which um eyeliner i bought or i didn't buy but the one that i'm talking about you know? um yeah this is one out of five i i really love the color though but this color you see you see that's really dark and bright it wouldn't appear when i would use it as an eyeliner it's like really really light green you, you could really see and then it would try and then it would look really really pale green you couldn't really tell anything like at all and it's like no like you have to when you wear eyeliner and it shows this color in the pot you wanted to show your highlight but it didn't it was like really really pale and then it was watery and it will get everywhere and it will ruin your eye look and it's not like you can take it off because you already have eyeshadow and it's a waste this yeah it's really bad and i try to use it and figure it out like okay maybe it's because i have too much water or maybe it's a brush or maybe i have to reapply the eyeliner either way it doesn't appear right on my on my eyelids um I don't know, I think it's because I haven't used it right. I don't know. It's just too much. Just don't buy this. Okay, maybe from this brand, don't buy it. But from other brands, maybe. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if it's cruelty free. It's a small brand. They don't usually mention those things. Um, but, um,. The packaging is nice. It was just a small cap and it had neon green sticker on it, the name of it. It was nice. Mm. Yeah.
Okay. That's it. Oh, this is, I have other stuff that I don't like, but these brands don't sell it anymore or their brand got deleted off Instagram. Like they just quit. They deleted their page. I don't know what happened to them. So that's why I don't know if I should mention these because they're not on sale anymore, right? So I guess really quickly, this is just from Shibuji Shop. I used to be on their PR team. I used to have a discount code for a little while. It was like last year, around this time in August. Um, they she deleted her brand. I don't know why. So she didn't explain to us like this really unprofessional but that's another story <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh this was from a collab she did with one of her girls and the, her pr team um they had oh i can tell she had a picture of the girl and then the brand like that's her instagram but it got ruined because of the heat and I don't know. This is supposed to be like a lip shimmer, like lip gloss. Hold on. Like a roll on lip gloss with shimmer and liquid. It smells, oh, it smells good here right now. It's because it's expired and everything. But it didn't smell like that before. It's like a roll on lipstick lipstick lip gloss <laughs> and I would apply it and it, it really wouldn't come out a lot. It was it was smooth, it was alright, it was not shimmery at all. Like why do you have all these shimmers if they're not gonna appear on your lips? That's what I don't like. It was just clear and it's really bright red. You couldn't see the red or the glitters. And the lot of product wouldn't come out because of the hole, it's really small. And your lips feel dry and this is supposed to be a lip oil, like, yeah. So no, this didn't work, I wouldn't even try this at all. Even for other brands, I don't think lip oils with this packaging will work. But, yeah. And the other thing she had was this colorful lip gloss. It's a shimmer purple one. And I got excited because I was like, wow, the color and the shimmer. And like, I love bold lips. And like, see, really, like, you can't really see any purple or pigments or shimmer. Like, I would apply it and you wouldn't see, like, really tiny little spark sparkles of purple sparkles. And I would go like this, and then still you couldn't see anything. And I would apply and apply and wouldn't see anything. But the texture and the consistency is nice, and it really smells really good. It smells like coconut. It's, it still smells like coconut, so this one smells good. I really love the smell and the wand that smells like. You can't really see like anything. It's not pigmented at all and this one's from a collab from another girl and her PR team I think she didn't collab with me I was barely new on the team and then, like a month or two later I forgot the time she dropped me out of the PR team like what not just me like everyone she just deleted her Instagram I don't know if she privately DM'd these girls or from the PR I don't know like I really curious like what happened to her like why did she do that she didn't even tell me yeah I hope their stuff her lashes were not good at all and I'm not being petty or being mean because she dropped me off or because she completely deleted her page I'm not like that I'm just saying like her products happen to be not that great let's be honest like I'm sorry, like that's real. I'm being real. Oh well, so the other brand, this one is still active, but she doesn't sell these products anymore. These are, this is like a brown growth gel thingy. 
it comes like this with the spoolie. And it, this smells like straight up cigarettes. It, it still does. That's why I don't like it. I hate it. Like, why is a brow gel smell like cigarettes? It's really mad. Like, trust me, really strong. Really, this is horrible. The scent. Uh, I've tried it still. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna ignore this smell and I would put it on my eyebrows and No, I, I didn't see a difference, but it was just one day So you should supposed to wear it for like weeks Your brows should grow. I think also for your lashes for them to grow, but I didn't even try my eyelashes because Imagine cigarette scent on your eyelashes is gonna get red. I feel like you're gonna get an allergic reaction <laughs> So I was like, I'm not even going to risk it, but, but, I mean, maybe it really works, but I didn't try it for the amount of time it should because of the smell, it was just too strong, <sighs> and I even did a review on my Instagram, and then I tagged her, and she saw it, and she was like, oh, it's because of the product, it had, like, it has natural products, I forgot, she had, like, a list of stuff. It sounded really like really good products, but still, she said, all oh, of that's just smell of it. Like, how are natural products are gonna smell like straight up cigarettes? Like, <sighs> I don't know. Like, I still didn't wear it. I was like, I'm not gonna risk it. I was like, nah, that's not my thing, but whatever. But I thought it was her house. Like, but you know, when people smoke you can smell everything like smell like cigarettes but no apparently she said it was a product so. but she's really nice she has other products that are nice like her lip glosses she has they're really nice they like still use them but she doesn't smell them anymore like this one she had she has different shades but this one smells really good like candy like those strawberry candies, pink candy. It's really good, but this is not really pigmented, but it it is better than the lip balm. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is her lip balm. She doesn't sell these anymore. She sells other things, she sells lip products, but not these kinds. This lip balm is just really dry. It smells funky and it doesn't smell good she had different colors i chose a purple one this one didn't work it made my lips even more dry than what it was it didn't work. but yeah that's it i'm just gonna do those products that i don't like i don't have a lot on me right now because i probably threw them away or i haven't tried a lot of new products I just tried products that have sent for me, um, that I got sent for PR or that I want to give away, so I haven't bought a makeup right now, so that's why I don't have a lot of things that I don't like. So luckily, the things that I got sent, they're really nice. So, yeah, I think this is going to be the video. <laughs> so, yeah. Um. What else? Um, you know, I had to do. I had to pull through for her. She's really nice a friend. Like that, she was like my first subscriber. Like seriously, she's really nice. Y'all should go subscribe to her and watch her videos and her Instagram. Follow her. And, um. Yeah, she's been supporting me for a while. Uh. So yeah, I had to do this one for her. Like, I need to be a real friend, you know. I need to, <laughs> and I I gotta do it like for her. Like, she told me, she asked me, so I'm like, I feel bad because I couldn't do these videos because of the time and the, I have to talk and I don't feel that comfortable talking in videos right now. So yeah, but I hope like maybe if I do them more, I'm more comfortable and they come out better. And, the quality and all that, but yeah. Uh, what else? I 
like well I think we got something <laughs> y'all should follow her and subscribe to her channel um yeah how to pull through how to do her video this video she has she has asked to for me to do another other type of videos before I forgot wait I'm finally coming through <laughs> finally doing the video she has um I, I'm still not gonna promise you I probably won't talk in my videos like I've been doing right now because you know like it's just uh, like right now somebody's listening to me right now like here like inside and outside like it's really hard to film videos talking where I live really and I don't feel comfortable doing so not at here let's be honest <laughs> it's just awkward and embarrassing and it's just like yeah um so yeah I think that's it yeah <laughs> bye